When the grandkids come over, I don't want them out into this, I call it a toxic environment. Mm -hmm. This is what they wear on their faces. Mm -hmm. We can't let them be breeding this in. We're not sure what we're breeding in here yet. Juliet's sis, Lee, lives across the street from a seafood sauce plant that's been rotting away for years. At its worst point, if you go out there, you'll throw up. You will throw up. The Atlantic Seafood Sauce Company opened in 1990. The owners were hoping to tap into a lucrative North American market for a Vietnamese-style seafood sauce. You see something new, something product new, nobody know, and uh, even we put it out of that, nobody bothered to look into it. The plant had 150 containers filled with fish and salt, left to ferment for years until it turned into a liquid that would be bottled for sale. But four years after it opened, the owner said federal regulations were killing the project. In the early 2000s, more trouble. Operations at the plant were suspended after issues with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. The owner shut the doors and is believed to have left the country. The tanks filled with seafood sauce have been sitting here for more than 15 years. Ooh, whew, this takes our breath here, the smell right here. The tanks are still leaking some liquid down, but now it's running on the floor. So now it's two, three, four inches thick all over the floor which is making the smell worse. Muriel and John Whalen live just up the road from the building. What does it smell like? Well, rat snake smells good to it. I'll take your breath. But it's not just the smell. They're worried about their health. They had to wear a suit and everything to go in there, right? And they said, well, it was to protect our people. Our and I said, our workers. And I said, what about us? What are we? The town of St. Mary's and the Newfoundland and Labrador government did try to tackle this before. Back in 2012, the province tried to contact the company's owner, but failed to track him down. Three years ago, a waste management plan was developed, but after complaints about the contractor, the work was stopped. Nothing has happened at the site since. The town has found a company that's willing to clean it up at a cost of $700,000. What he told me kind of scared me. He said for no rodents to be here, it kind of, it kind of means there's something toxic. The town has applied to the province for financial help, but it still won't be enough to cover the cleanup. Jen White, CBC News, St. Mary's, Newfoundland and Labrador.